Oh, this is crazy. This is literally nuts. This message is for those who have a home to go to. Better yet, a safe home to go to. This message is for people who can work from home. This message is for us. This message is for you. Please, 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 please sit your ass down. Hello, beautiful people. If you don't know me, I'm Geneva. And my channel is Where is Neva. And this episode is from the series, Adjusting Your Mindset. And we're going to talk a little bit about the coronavirus. I'm not a doctor, nor am I in, a, in the government, or work for who. Or I'm just little old me, a full-time entrepreneur who is sitting my ass down. I'm also your friend, your sister, your cousin, your loved one. I love you. And I recently lost a family member due to the coronavirus. We can all feel immune until it hits close to home. Coronavirus is nothing to play with. We have to think about others. Coronavirus has taught me how to think about others and get out of myself and get out of my privilege. Grocery store workers, medical staff, the people who are risking their lives every day to make sure that we have a life to live. It's easy to have this false sense of reassurance that Rona can only affect the elderly can only affect those who already had health issues. When in reality, Rona can affect me as well as it can affect you. We can be carriers of Rona that causes somebody else be affected by Corona. This is bigger than you and I. This is bigger than us. Corona doesn't have a name to it, nor does it have a face to it. Corona doesn't only affect a certain race, a certain age. It doesn't. Imagine this. And God forbid, just imagine that if we don't sit our behinds down and that they run out of hospital beds, do you really think that the hospital beds that they do have will be for people like me are the people like you if you're not a doctor or working in the medical field because a doctor can save hundreds of lives they went to school for it but me i can make these videos and save souls i guess but let's not talk about race and social economics because we all know that history repeats itself. And black and brown folks always are left without. So me, my sister, my mother, my brother, my cousin, my uncle. <laughs> you know that story. Have you guys seen the video with the matches where they had matches like straight up towards each other? And when one match falls, it, it lights another match, it lights another match, and then the matches stop lighting when the other match stepped out. We feel like we don't have control, but we do have a, a lot of control. You have control. You have control. I have control. And the control we do have is just to sit down. There is things that we can do at home. Listen to yourself. Find out what you like. Find out what you love. Write that book that you thought about. Start journaling. Read that series of books that you've been wanting to read. Watch that Netflix series. Be with family. Call 
call on your loved ones. FaceTime your loved ones. Tell them that you love them and you miss them. Send them love and reassurance. Talk to the people you haven't talked to in a while. This is a time we need each other more than ever. I need my strangers. I need my friends. I need those around me that I may not even know. Just take a break. Reevaluate. Be appreciative. But most importantly, be grateful. The teachers, the janitors, bus drivers, lunch teachers, the unseen heroes who are literally risking their lives every day just so that we can live our life. Corona has taught me and has shown me that everybody in our society needs to be valued. We have to love on each other and support one another, regardless of sex, race, and economics, and of other things. We have to value each other. We are all in this together. We said that 2020 is a year of clarity. And let me just ask you, isn't with clarity? Clarity comes with a shift of changes and maybe a storm. But through every storm, there's always rainbows and there's light. And through every darkness, there's always a light at the end. And through the storm, but through every storm, there is beauty. We just have to do our part. We have to do our part so that the storm won't be as massive as it could be. Adjust your life so that we all can have a better future. I love you all so very much. I'm sending you all love, happiness, and reassurance, positivity, and a hug during this time. Condolences to my family. Condolences to those people who have lost people. I love you guys. I can't say it enough. I love you all. Family, call your family right now. After we get off this video, call your family. Kisses, family. I love you.